So we're going to the, solve the following question. An engineer is designing a parabolic arch. The arch must be 15 meters high and 6 meters wide at a height of 8 meters. Determine the quadratic function, so we're going to answer that part. That satisfies these conditions. And then we got to answer what is the width of the arc at its base. In order to solve this, we need to find the two zeros, which will give us the width of the base. We're going to get that from the quadratic equation, so we need to do that first. So they've given us two pieces of information. They've told us the max height of the arc is 15 meters. So I'm going to label that. Uh, we're going to center it at zero so that it's in the middle. So I sketched it just so you can have a visual. And uh, that's the vertex, so it's 0, 15. So when x is uh, 0, our max height is going to be 15. They've also told us at uh, the width of 6 meters, the height is 8. So since we've centered it, we know that half of 6 is 3, and the height there is going to be 8. So that's another point that we have on our graph, on our quadratic. So we're going to use the vertex form of this to solve it since we know the vertex and we have one point. So the vertex form is y equals a x minus h squared plus k. We sub in our vertex 15 and 0. 15 is our k and 0 is our h. We also then sum in our x and our y, which is our other point on the graph, which we know is 3 and 8. We've established that, that here. And then we're going to solve for a. So 3 minus 0 squared is 9. And then we are going to try and isolate a. So 8 minus 15 is equal to 9a. Then 8 minus 15 is negative 7. And then 9a. Then we're going to divide both sides by 9 to isolate a. It's negative 7 over 9 equals a. The fact that it's negative uh, is good because we know that we did something right. Negative means that the parabola opens down, which in our case the arc is. And here's our equation. Since uh, the vertex, the x value is 0, it's quite simple. It's right here. And our y value, or k, is 15. We'll just leave that in there. And we have substituted our a value, so it's negative 7 not over 9 x squared plus 15. So that's our vertex form of the equation. It's also our standard form of the equation. You'll notice that the y-intercept is 15. So that's answered part of the question. That's the equation. Now we need to solve for the zeros here and here in order to get the distance of the arc at the base. So we're ignoring the bottom parts because those are negative. The arc is just simply zero and up. Okay, so to solve for the zeros, it's quite simple in this form of the equation. We're just going to solve. We're going to isolate x squared. So first thing we do is we are going to subtract, uh, subtract negative 7 over 9 from both sides, or add, actually add it to both sides. So it becomes 7 over 9 x squared equals 15. Then to isolate the x squared, we're going to divide both sides by 7 over 9. So divide by 7 over 9. Then we multiply it, because when you're dividing a fraction, you multiply by the reciprocal. So 15 times 9 over 7 is actually 19.2857143. The opposite operation of squared is the square root. And when we take a square root, when we do that, we know that there's two possible answers. It could be positive or negative. So when we take the square root, we get 4.39155 and negative 4.39155. So that the negative, it just tells us the distance from the center going 
the left, and the positive just tells us the distance from the center going to the right. Since we're looking for the width of the base, it's both of these together, or 2 times 4.39155, which is 8.7831 meters. So there's our answer. The width of the arc at its base is 8.7831 meters. Okay, so that's our full answer right there. I'll leave this for a bit if you want to get the whole picture. Subscribe to my channel to watch more videos and help you with other questions.